hello guys welcome back to my channel so recently in twist of fate we all saw that ria has changed her behavior and she is now a good person and some people are curious to know if she actually changed for good or if she is just pretending so this video is going to answer your question and i would as well give you guys the summary of the show so please keep watching to find out Aliyah runs away from prison and later kidnaps Panchi for revenge, but she accidentally throws the child into the river and Panchi is presumed to be dead. Rainbow and Prachi blame each other for their daughter's death and they got separated. Prachi meets with an accident when she goes to look for her baby and Prachi also falls into the same river that her baby fell into and Prachi is also assumed to be dead. The show takes a six year sleep and six years later, Prachi and Panchi are revealed to be alive, but the colleagues are not aware of them being alive. Prachi now lives in Bangalore, and she is living a happy life with Grandma Baujit and Shahana, and she has also become a strict businesswoman, working as a manager in a renowned company. The Kohli family, however, are now on the verge of going bankrupt, and things is no more going well with the Kohli family again after the six years period. Prachi and Rainbow constantly misses their daughter Panchi, thinking that Panchi is dead. But on the other hand, Panchi, who has now been renamed to be Kuchi, has now been adopted by a woman named Lali. And Panchi is living a difficult life, selling flowers on the streets now that she is six years old. Rainbow now works at a company owned by a businessman, and Prachi arrives in Delhi for work as well. Rainbow and Prachi meet Kuchi but they were unaware that Kuchi is their long-lost daughter Panchi and they develop a close bond with Kuchi because everything about Kuchi remind them of their daughter Panchi. Even though Prachi and Rambru has finally met after six years, still, Prachi owed a grudge against Rambru, still accusing him of making them lose their baby. A new character called Akshay is introduced to the show and Akshay is the son of Prachi's boss whose name is Ashok Tandon and Akshay is a friend of Prachi and Akshay supported Prachi over this six years period. Akshay completes his studies in London and he returns to India and it is revealed that Akshay is in love with Prachi. Meanwhile, Ria who has now turned over a new leaf returns to Delhi. Rambu and Prachi wants to adopt Kuchi after they both have individually find out that Kuchi is their long lost daughter, but they refuse to tell each other that Kuchi is Panchi. Kuchi also later find out that her parents are Rambu and Prachi. However, the orphanage does not let Prachi and Rambu take Kuchi away because they are unmarried and they are adamant to get married to each other. So in order for them to win the custody of their daughter and stop each other from adopting her, they have no choice but to marry Akshay and Rhea, meaning that Prachi have to marry Akshay while Rambu marry Rhea. Meanwhile, Aliyah returns again to seek revenge and she finally succeeds in manipulating Rhea again and Rhea becomes evil again and she becomes obsessed with Rambu and she is adamant to marry Rambu again. As the marriage preparation begins, Rambu realizes that he cannot marry Rhea because he still loves Prachi and Rambu leaves Rhea and runs to stop Prachi's marriage with Akshay, but Rambu fails. Prachi and Akshay finally get married, and this leaves Rambu devastated. So Rambu started drinking alcohol, and he soon meets Akshay's sister Netra. It is revealed that Akshay and Prachi fake their marriage, because Akshay only wants to marry Prachi when Prachi is ready. So which means that Prachi and Akshay did not actually really get married. But Rambu promised to take revenge on Prachi and he challenged Prachi that he will return to her life once again. Three months later, Rambu has left his family home in the last three months after throwing Aliyah and Rhea out of the house once again. Prachi is living a happy and living a peaceful life with her new family after adopting Kuchi and she sent her to London for better studies. Coincidentally, Rambu enters the Tandon mansion as Meika's fake lover. A plan by both Rambu and Meika after Meika's real lover dumped her. Prachi is shocked to see Rambu in her new home, but Rambu finally realized that Prachi's marriage with Akshay is not true, so Rambu decided to stay there and find out the truth. Okay, so I hope you guys now understand and now got your answer. Rhea actually changed for good. She actually became a good person and she changed. 
and that was when they showed us that she changed and she turned against Aliyah. So it was because of this that made Aliyah kidnap Panchi, that is Rambiru and Prachi's daughter, and the child fell into the river accidentally from Aliyah's hand. So this made Rambiru and Prachi to go their separate ways. And six years later, Prachi is now a renowned and a well-known businesswoman. And she is now rich and she came back to India because she was staying in Bangalore within the period of the six years. So after six years, Rambru's family went bankrupt, so they didn't have enough money again. So Rambru actually started working for companies. And from there, Rambru and Prachi finally met their daughter, who is called Kuchi. But they didn't know she was their daughter. But later, they got to find out that Kuchi is actually their daughter that fell into the river at that time. So they refused to tell each other that they know Kuchi and she is their daughter. So Prachi was like, if I did not tell Rambru that Kuchi is my daughter, then Rambru will not collect my daughter from me. Then Rambru will also find out that Kuchi is their daughter, says that if he did not tell Prachi that Kuchi is his daughter, then he will be able to get the custody of his daughter. So the back and forth was going like that until Ria returns back to Delhi. And after after Ria returned, Aliyah was able to manipulate Ria and convince Ria to become a bad person again. So Ria became a bad person again and she became obsessed with Rambiru again and says she must get married to Rambiru. So they organized the marriage and as the marriage was going on, Rambiru left Ria at the wedding altar and he goes to stop Prachi who is also currently getting married to Akshay. But on getting there, Rambiru was shocked to realize that Prachi got married to Akshay. But Prachi did not actually marry Akshay, it was only a plan between Prachi and Akshay. Then, what they are currently doing now is that they've introduced another character who is called Meika. Don't mistake it though, Meika, this Meika is not actually Sida's sister. She is another Meika and she is just like Rhea, like another form of Rhea that they brought to be obsessed with Rambiru. So Meika is also saying she will get married to Rambiru. And that is the roller coaster journey that is currently going on on ZTV right now so i hope this answers your question and if there's still any question please drop them in the comment section and i'll be happy to answer you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all again in my next video bye guys